You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger A willing and able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer All busy and pretty, just making believe Boy, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Shouldn't be trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know You look worried and maybe you should be Cause this is a warning that I'm throwing out Cause I'm the worst player that ever would play you To make some sweet words with the girl's sanity Boy, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Trust me, I could be making it all up, you know going on guys welcome back to another live stream my name is patrick and this is window tinting business section of my channel where we talk about window tinting and the window tinting industry 
Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh my gosh, it feels like it's been forever since I've done one of these. I know I did one just a couple weeks ago and such. Um, so we do these Tuesday night live streams. Uh, I don't have any interviewers or anything else like that. Uh, we just got—I do have some topics to go over, different things, and some some stuff I kind of want to try out. I'll lower this music down just a little bit. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Ah, uh, so guys, welcome back to the live stream. Uh, Tint Pro, what's going on? Welcome to the t welcome to the live stream. What's going on? Tint Wiz in the in the house. What's going on? Just finished up, wrapped up uh, Tint Wisdom. So uh, glad of you guys joining us. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Tonight's topic, like I said, I have a couple couple ideas and some some um, some stuff. I don't want to just like get on here and just be like, all right, guys, Q and A, go, and kind of just sit here. You know what I mean? Um, so. Um, I do have a couple of things to discuss and talk about and then um, you know if we have any questions some some stuff rolling in We'll go ahead and answer them as they come in though um, But yeah again, this is window tinting business where we strive to inform inspire and improve you as a professional Now if you're interested in window tinting as a side job to improve your current skills or as a full-on career Start right now by subscribing to the channel Make sure to hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I go live or upload new videos as well Washington Carrera, what's going on? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Another, uh, another, uh, dedicated watcher. <laughs> uh, so I'm assuming because obviously it's been like a couple months since I've gotten these live streams back up and rolling that, uh, it's going to take probably just as long to get, get people back into the groove of coming back into the live streams and whatnot. So, um, so if you guys aren't uh, part of the notification squad, make sure to hit the bell. That way you're notified whenever I go live. That way you guys can join in right when we go here uh before we get started big shout out to our sponsors tint whiz uh tint whiz if you guys don't know it's the window tinting industries i don't know if it's the first but i know um it's pretty badass it's a crm suite designed for window tinters in mind so whether you're running flat glass automotive mobile uh marine uh, you basically from start to finish you can you can start and pretty much go all the way through except for processing But I know you can connect um, your QuickBooks to uh, Tint Wiz as well. So go ahead and check it out Tint Wiz. They're amazing uh, You can check them out at tintwiz.com. You could also download it on iOS um, And off the top of my head I see I know Tint Wiz is actually in the chat here now off the top of my head I don't know if they're an Android just yet. I know they're working on it, but I'm not hundred percent sure I haven't gotten word yet if not um, if not, you can go through the browser, but uh, it'll be on Android soon. So big shout out to them. And also, um, the only other sponsors here would be you guys because uh, Super Chat is activated and, and you guys do donate. So I definitely appreciate the ones that do donate and help support the channel. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, let me see here. I want to double check everything here. See, I had, here's the thing, like I had all my notes behind the camera. So before I'd like, just like pop off the camera and I'd read my notes and, and look back in, but my notes are here because I moved my desk around. So now I'm kind of like, just making sure that I'm covering all the bases I need to cover. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's talk about some new stuff. I hope everything's going well. I hope not Android yet, but almost there. So yeah, with tent with thank you very much for answering that. Um, but yeah, you can use it uh, if you guys are on Android you can go through the browser and it would work just the same Either which way is good, baby. It's good um, Let me see here I Want to make sure everything's Going just right Audio and video is crystal clear. Thank God, you know, so I um, for the longest time I had a a um, a very simple audio interface and it's basically you take a you know just to break it down real easy you take a digital sound from here and it's got to be able to convert it into like ones and zeros into a computer so it can understand that's what it do that's what an audio interface does right um but i recently got a new one uh more it's more designed for live streaming so like if I start talking a little lower, it has a it has a boost gain. And if I start talking real loud and I start screaming, I'm not gonna like blow your ears out. And I'm not gonna peek. So um, just a couple. Of, I mean, just some really nice stuff. I can, as you can hear, I can control the music with this audio interface. So it makes it a lot easier for me to um, 
to to be able to interact and have a better quality stream for you guys um so the reason why i was saying that is because i got it last week and i was playing with it and it sounded like a garbage it sounded like a, i'm not like a i'm not an audio technician right so like i don't know much about eq compression ratios attenuators i mean these are just things that like I didn't plan on doing this shit. <laughs> I just wanted to make tint videos, right? And then I have to like learn all this other stuff so that it can be a good quality production. So uh, I'm glad the crystal clear, the audio is crystal clear. Awesome. Thank you very much for that. Um, okay, let me go over. I will go over some some stuff, uh, some notes that I kind of had, what's going on in the industry, what's going on, what have I noticed, um, and some things that I, I kind of want to try out. Um, first and foremost, DSP or dry shrink prep. If you guys don't know, I'm the uh, I'm the manufacturer and distributor of dry shrink prep, and um, and we are now officially offering it direct to clients. Uh, we were going to be going the route of going to through distributors, um, but because of events that happened, uh, where you we're gonna we're gonna just be focusing on on selling it direct to uh, to clients and consumers. And, um, and you guys can go over there right now as the, as the way it's set up is that we're going, we have a dry shrink prep, uh, Facebook page and you can just search dry shrink prep and you'll find it there. And we're setting We have the store set up and I thought we were ready to go today, but apparently like once you put a product in that that people can purchase, it takes like a day or so, um, for that to process and be approved. So right now I like already made the announcement. I guess I jumped the gun and made the announcement. Um, that they're ready and people are going there and it says the store is empty because it hasn't been approved yet. So um, So that'll happen in the next day or so that they'll approve it and then you guys can just go and purchase it direct there um, I'll probably still add on distributors as well uh, I know I know Sun Distributing was really interested in carrying our product and a number of other distributors as well um, So they'll I'll, I'll sell direct because I want to make sure that if people come to me that I could just I, just take care of them Lickety split, you know what I mean? Um, so so that's that that's what DSP right now um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Shop live streams I was talking about shop live streams. So I was I do live streams on Mondays from the shop and I do them particularly on Mondays because uh, I am alone. I work with another guy uh, the other five days a week. I'm off on Sundays. So Mondays is just it's just me. So and he's a little weird about he's not weird. He's, he's just he has a preference of not being on camera, which is totally fine. I get it. I got to respect him, right? Because I'm a coworker with him. So so that is what it is. So but being the winter time, it was a little, it was like, literally we had nothing on the books. So like, I, I didn't even bring my gear. And, um, and then we had like three or four walk-ins and I could totally could have done a live stream. So that is my bad on that. So that's kind of why I'm doing the, the, uh, the live stream from my studio is because if I, if I happen to not, because it might happen where I, I goose egg on Monday and I don't have anything to, to give you guys. If that's the case, I will be coming up on Tuesday. We'll be doing a live stream. We'll do some Q and a and talk about certain things. Maybe I have a topic. Maybe I don't, maybe I interview someone who knows, right? But you're going to see me at least once a week, uh, for sure. Live streaming either from my studio or, uh, from the shop as well. Now I am, um, <sighs> They're not, if you guys have been watching Matt's live streams, they're, they're awesome, right? So if you look like right here, you see that there's like a super chat goal. And if you see like right here, like if, if they're like, there's a super chat here, there's the last person that subscribed and a couple other, these are called overlays, right? So Matt set it up on his live stream where he does, he has overlays already set up and it's beautiful while he's in the shop. It's a really complex process to pull that off. Um, and currently he is in the Philippines right now. So I'm going to bend his ear when he gets back. Um, so they're just going to be straight. Like they're going to be the GoPro, the GoPro view from, from the GoPro and just straight, no overlays, nothing like that. And then once I get Matt back in, back in the States and, and I, I bend his ear with him, um, I can start getting overlays and make it, make the production quality a little bit better, but, uh, but uh, something's better than nothing, right? So, so that's what's going on with the live streams as well. Uh, let me see. I should probably look and see how many people we got within here. Well, I got a half dozen people. That's pretty good, as con considering we haven't done this in a while. So appreciate the guys that are in here watching, jazzing it up with us. Uh, let me think here. 
Perfect. Okay. Oh, how to determine different live streams. That's one thing I was going to show you guys. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm in the I'm in the process of of basically converting this channel into like a, a personal a personal brand. Uh, Greg GNP, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Love your channel. Thank you very much for being a, uh, a watcher here. Uh, you can email us at windowtendingbusiness at gmail.com. It's uh, it's a little lengthy, but uh, that's the way you guys can email me if you're if you guys want to email me. <laughs> um, but as I said, so I'm, I'm I'm looking to expand this channel, right? So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be converting it to a personal brand. So it'll end up being my name, Patrick Latman, and um, and that's pretty much what the channel will be. But it'll be it'll be categorized into different subjects. Like I said, tint and cars, tech. Um, what else was the other one gaming and it's just breaking down different aspects that i love um and being able to expand the channel so that we can reach more people and be more uh i don't just be more involved in in me and other things that i like as well but how do you tell which live streams i'm doing what channel i mean what what topics i'm covering like like i don't want you guys to get confused right so uh let me see if i have it here so the white window tinting business um thumbnail is the is the 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 live streams that i'm going to be doing here from my studio uh, and let me see if i can pull up a hold on right here okay hold on one second uh, okay so here's my here's my channel um my channel home okay and so you see this window tinting business youtube live so this logo this thumbnail will always be the same so if you see this thumbnail then that means that the live stream that i'm going to be doing is going to be from my home studio here and then if you see i think there's another one here um, hold on one second here i just want to make sure that you guys don't see anything you're not supposed to okay um so if you look over here you see this 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 orange and teal window tinting business live from the shop if you see this thumbnail i am going to be tinting a car live from the shop so those are going to be dedicated to car or tent videos and you can always check those out those are going to be the different live streams now i am I live streaming gaming so you're going to notice like stuff like thumbnails like this where it's a little more color it's it's it has games it says live um it'll it'll say it underneath um, if you're interested in watching me play some games and doing some gaming stuff, you're more than welcome to join that. But if that's not your forte, you can just check out the thumbnail to be able to determine what I'm doing um, and what kind of live stream. Because I have the gaming live stream, I have the shop live stream, and I have my studio live stream. So there's three different things that I want to make sure that I'm clear in regards to um, how I'm differentiating those so that you guys can watch what you want to watch and not watch what you don't want to watch. So that was a couple yes things too um also last but not i mean not last but not least next here like let's say we were gonna watch a video mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so so here's one of my videos right and a lot of you guys might not know this, know this or don't know this, um, but some of you guys have asked me about resolution and quality of resolution of the videos and well, how come the videos don't look like high res or high quality or anything of that nature. So I'm gonna show you right now, down here, this little cog, right, where it says HD, yours might not say HD. You wanna go down to that cog and then where it says quality, click on quality, most of the time it's set on auto and on auto you'll get like 720 or 480 if you guys want high definition um, just click on 1080 and it'll re reformat the video so that it, it's pushing 1080 quality to you um, and same thing uh, it might you might not have a cog but same thing basic same concept with your phones as well so you'll get like uh, it'll just be automatic and it'll give you like the auto and sometimes the quality of video is down res uh, determine uh, depending on maybe like how good your internet is or how your service is so that it doesn't it basically lowers it down to the point where you're not going to buffer so 
Um, but if you're at home, you got solid internet and the, and the quality isn't great. That could be one reason as to why. Sup from SoCal. What's going on, Eric? Hell, welcome to the live stream, my friend. Welcome. I think that's, uh, those two are done. Yeah. That's basically some, uh, some cleaning house questions. Um, yeah, I was just finishing up watching the Tint Whiz, um, uh, the tint was tint wisdom uh live streams which are phenomenal if you guys have if you guys aren't part of the uh the facebook groups uh check it out window tinting business is is the facebook group online dedicated to window tinting and some automotive aftermarket stuff maybe depending i don't know i guess if some people throw it in there um but if you guys are part of that group every tuesday at seven o'clock east seven o'clock eastern time yeah my time is eastern eastern standard time um i throw a watch party because every time um, Eric from Tint Wiz goes live. Um, I join a watch party. I, I make a watch party with uh, both my groups on Facebook and it's just a, it's a really, really good, um, really good bit of information. And, and they're covering a number of different topics. A couple of weeks ago, it was, what well, you know, um, talking about what to do in regards to the, to the winter about the months slowing down and things of that nature and business slowing down. Um, and it's very insightful and it's um it's great is because it's eric eric puts it in a very very professional manner you know sometimes that's kind of like the gripe we you know with us and window tenders sometimes we're just some of us are a bunch of hillbillies and <laughs> they just like to be on video right um but like here was one thing that, that kind of reminded me he was talking someone was talking about uh about yelp and 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 um how yelp it was something about how yelp was do was was not doing very well with like filtering bad reviews and things of that nature and it was like uh, from 2013 and then like he knew off the rip like in 2016 they went public so they were you know they were on the nasdaq or something like that and like he's like he had all the points as to why <laughs> this is not correct and and is, so he, it's not just opinion so he's backing it up with 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 facts and and, and information that's that's accurate so i love i that i really do love that about that that's what makes it so interesting and, and makes me want to watch so if you guys haven't watched that or haven't been a part of that definitely be a part of that because it is an awesome um it is awesome and they have a youtube channel as well they uh, they post all their videos up there as well i'm back on the coffee um i didn't get decaf so i'll be up all night so who cares <laughs> Um, but the reason why I bring that up is because, and I'm kind of going to bite a little bit, right? Because sometimes like I don't have topics, right? Like, like how many things can I think of? And it's like, Jesus, it's, it's like, like after you do this for a couple of years, I've been doing this for well over a year and a half, almost two years now, I think, or one year, a year and a half. I don't know. It's been over a year. I know that for sure. Right. So when you do weekly videos, it's kind of like, you don't want to, you kind of want to be new and and fresh you don't want to just get stale um and one thing that he was what uh tint was was doing on the tint wisdoms is they were really he was like searching through the uh the tint uh groups and uh you know just running through the tint groups and seeing picking and choosing questions that he thought were pertinent to the topic and uh and basically running through them and answering them and i thought that was a great way to to um produce some content so i might bite that a little bit because i mean i do have a group my group i don't know how many people are in this group four thousand five thousand or something like that there's a lot of conversations so um i might as well uh yank some questions out of here and see what we got going on here uh tim was thank you patrick <laughs> thank you guys you guys are so awesome and you guys are you guys are um in the industry that's what i love that's what i love if you guys have watched me um and you guys have seen my content and some some stuff like that you guys know i rep people that i really do appreciate and that i believe in right um they, like jordan and nick from fusion they they're, they're they're not just selling tools but they're in the industry they're at the tent tent offs they're at sema um they're 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 active in the industry and um and so is tent Wiz. they're not just like here's a crm suite buy our shit and then you never hear from them. You know what I mean? Like these guys are active in the industry and that's what, uh, that's why I really do respect about them. So, um, I'll always be repping people that I, that I, uh, I believe in and, um, uh, and yeah. So I did notice one thing in regards to window tinting groups, tint groups on Facebook. Um, so originally 
this, I mean, obviously this channel started off as the name is window tinting business, right? And I made a Facebook group called window tinting business. It was a place for the community as a whole from the channel to be able to meet up in one location, just because like the comment section of YouTube is not very, it's not laid out very well. So it, it, it gets hard and gets confusing, right? Um, especially if someone has a question for me, um, uh, I might not be able to answer it. Maybe other people answer it. Maybe they don't, they don't see the responses. So being just the, being able to build a group on Facebook helped everyone get together. And then maybe I don't answer a question, but maybe the group can work together to help that guy answer the question. So that was the premise of the group. And I didn't even know that tint groups were even a thing at the time. It was never, I never, my plan was never to do build a group to window tinting like I didn't think that was a thing and then the, apparently there is there's it's all over the place right um and I didn't know that um so I've joined other tint groups and I'll be honest and I'll be frank with you I have unjoined all of them pretty much all of them um it's it's pretty nasty out there some of the tent groups they're they're uncensored they're raw it's like the wild west like the like admins and, and administrators don't it's either they don't do anything and people are just nasty and toxic in there or they overdo stuff and like no one has a voice and no one can can speak their opinion like in, t in window tinting business like if you're a shitty person and you're you're down talking to people you're gonna get booted i don't care who you are right i don't care if you're God's gift to tent, I don't, I don't care. Right. Um, but if you're, if, but there's nothing wrong with, with having constructive criticism or having a conversation with two people debating, you know, opposite sides, that's okay. That, but you know, we're being adults about it, you know, but, um, these other groups were, I just didn't feel that way in, in like, you know, I've always been the type that's the, the, that I wanted to help people and be able to help people grow in this industry. And I, I was either getting bashed for it or other, other things. So that's why I stopped being part of other groups, but one group, which is brand new that just started has a very interesting, very interesting, um, what's the word I'm looking for concept. A concept, I guess you could say. So, and I and I'm very spec um, speculative. Like I think I heard. I hope that's the the correct word I'm I'm trying to use here. Um, that I I don't join other groups, and there's a reason why. Is because either like it's either people hate me, or, or 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 I feel like I'll put up some content that I think is beneficial and helpful to other people, and like the admins will will delete it and be like, oh, that's that's posting about your stuff. And I'm like, no, well, my my stuff is about the industry. It's it's supposed to be helpful. That's what it's supposed to be for. But so this with this group is called, let's see here, Window Tenders Institution. Um, I don't know if I should even be showing this. It's a private group, right? So you gotta be, you gotta be like invited. It's brand new. It's got like 150 members or something like that. But the concept of this group is very interesting, right? The the whole concept of it is to the, you don't no comments, no talking points. It's all video. Um, now, obviously, people are commenting here and whatnot. But the whole point of it is that you're supposed to just just communicate via video. Right. And I think the reason why is that there's so many cowboy uh, keyboard cowboys out there that just want to like it, it, it's either either they don't know how to text or they don't know how to write. And there's so you, you can get lost in translation with just text. Right. There's no context. You don't know if they're angry. You don't know if they're happy. You don't know if they're being shitty. You don't know if they're being uh, there's nothing. Right. But if in a video you can see how the words are being used, how people are saying it. And I believe, I really do believe that this might be a really awesome group to join um, because it's, you know, when you, when you hide behind a, a, a name on online and you just type in, oh, you're a shitty person, you know what I mean? And you can hide behind stuff like that. But when you're in a video and people can see your face and see the tone and hear the tone of your voice and, and your expression and stuff like that, I feel like, I, I, I feel like number one, I, less arguments are going to happen. There's a lot of drama <laughs> in window tinting. Like it, that, I mean, that was another reason why I stopped all the groups is because they're like window tenders as a whole, you pretty 
much a bunch of third graders. <laughs> a, th- a bunch of third graders that could drink, pretty much. <laughs> so, like, like everyone wants to argue and everyone wants to, like, bash on each other and everyone wants to talk shit about each other. And it's like, why? Why? Like, I'm, I got too, I got too much stuff. I got kids. I got an old lady. I got I got other things. My, I have my life. I don't need to, like, sit and waste my time trying to bash on other people. Um, so, but, yeah, this is why this, this channel or this group really caught my interest is because you only upload videos so if you got a problem if you got something to say you can say it and then people can see and hear exactly how you're saying it and what you're saying and and and, and kind of get a better idea of what's going on um so it's still new it's still this week so i'll see um i'll see you know how this goes but i thought it was interesting i thought it was interesting i hope it goes well um yeah Goldman, uh, he's the uh, the moderator here. I think uh, back-to-back finalist in the uh, the tent off, badass talent. This guy, this guy content, this guy content out of Louisiana, I believe. He's got that that really cool like Louisiana accent, like like Creole kinda. Like I don't, I, I think that's it. I don't know. It's 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 a trip. It's really cool. So, um, so yeah, that's the group that uh, that caught my eye, and uh, let me see here. Uh, okay so i gotta check it out so i have like what's called the stream bot now so there's a it's basically an electronic moderator um that will moderate so eric uh, i i see your question for some reason at block two i might have the uh the the moderation a little too strict so i have to loosen it up a little bit but eric uh eric had a question says what are your honest opinions on plotters a lot of tenders tell me they're garbage a lot of uh, a lot of wasted film uh, that they can cut patterns closer uh, than a plotter. Uh, what's your opinions? Um, okay, so my opinion on plotters is is that I love them. I love them. Uh, I don't know why Streambot is deleting some stuff. I am seeing these questions you guys are asking, so don't don't think that I'm just like dodging you here. I just want to make sure. I think that if I think if you guys message too much too often, I think the the stream bot like automatically detects it here. So sorry about that. Anyways, plotters. So here's my opinion, and here's what I think, and I've noticed that I've seen a trend because I've worked with 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 new people, old people, young people, women, men, babies. Um, I've noticed that the older cats, the guys that have been doing it for twenty something years, twenty plus years, they learned pretty much to do it by hand right and the newer or the new age tinters the guys have been just doing it for the last like five to ten years um they they veer towards the plotter end um and either way is good and i can i can understand and see way i've seen i've seen uh hand cutters that just rip through jobs rip through jobs matt is a good example he's a hand cutter that's it all day every day me i'm a plotter cutter oh uh, that's it all day every day can I hand cut? Yeah, I learned how to hand cut. But in my opinion, I think plotter cutting it when done right, you can waste less film um, and you can and it can be much easier and be more efficient, time efficient, um, especially when doing jobs or uh, like back windows. I feel like it saves me a bunch of time. I don't have to get a, I don't have to get a light out. I don't have to I don't have to put glass aid around the edge. It's like it's it's just more faster and efficient for me but that also comes that also knows means that like i have to know my plotter um in and out i have to know how to set the speed i have to know how to set the pressure i have to know how to change the profiles um you know what angle blades do you use are you using ppf are you using tint um i need to know how to replace the blades i need to know how to replace the teflon strips um I need to know how to work the plotter, the the software for the plotter. I need to know how to make adjustments in the software so that I can make a pattern bigger or smaller or wider. Um, and then what that means. Like I know to the detail 
every little bit of my plotter. I know for a fact that it's 42 inches before before a film hits the ground. So I can check and see, okay, this is 42 and a half inches. That film's going to hit the ground. I got to catch it. I got to hold on to it. But I know that if it's less than 42 inches, I can hit plot and walk away. I know that film's not going to hit the ground. That thing's going to happen to it. Um, so, so I mean, I know for a fact because I set the, the rails, the, the wheels to a certain point, and I know for a fact that I can make the the pattern go off the cut board at least four clicks and it'll still stay on the film. I know five will go over. Like I know everything about my plotter and that's what you have to learn too. If you're gonna use a plotter, you need, you need to know the ins and outs of everything. I know that if a pattern is short by an inch, I know how to make it longer by an inch. Um, and sometimes the software is good and you can do that. And sometimes you can't and you have to hand cut it. And, and that's the shitty part of it. But most of the time for me, a plotter is very effective for me and it's it makes my job way more efficient. Um, yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> I was a little long-winded, but I hope that answered your question. Uh, Greg. <laughs> yes, there you go. Okay, Greg GNP said, I found your page on Facebook. Never mind the groups, as you say, but keep vlogging, Patrick. I think you're, I think that's your name. He doesn't even know my name. Yes, my name's Patrick. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, thanks and keep up the good work. I appreciate it, Greg. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for, uh, for joining the community, man. It's a really good community. Uh, let's see. Braden asked, what kind of plotter do I, do I run at the shop? I run a, a Roland GX 400. It's a very, I, I would say it was almost sta a standard plotter. There's a lot of people like Jaguars. A lot of people like, um, oh my God, what was the name of the other one? Oh, shit. I forget. I don't know. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but the Roland GX 400 was like a very popular one. They have a new one now, which is nasty, which is so nasty. It's like, oh, I'd love to have that plotter, but it's also like $5,500. But, um, but there's leasing options like that. You can pay like, I don't know, hundred, 200 bucks a month or something like that. And it pays for itself. It really does. As long as you don't get a plotter, here's what you need to do. If you're on the fence or wanting to get a plotter, you need to get a plotter for the right reason. Start by hand cutting. If you open up a shop and you're slow and you don't have enough cars, like let's say, let's say that it takes me two hours to, to hand cut a car, right? Let's just say it, right? Um, and I have eight hours in a day. Let's say I take a lunch. So that really, I can only I can only tint three cars in a day, right? So if I'm booking three cars or less, I don't need a plotter. I can just keep working all day and save the money. But now, if I can, but if I can book four cars or five cars in a day. And that's more cars than I can hand cut, but I know I can plotter cut faster. Like for a fact, I can plotter cut a car with a plotter. I can cut a car and tint a car between 45 minutes and an hour and an hour and 15 on average. So by those estimates, I can tint about seven or eight cars in a day with a plotter. You see, you see what I'm saying? So you have to get a plotter for the right reasons. You need to get a plotter when there's more work available then you can cut by hand and that you know that a plotter can can speed up your production because then that means more money in your pocket don't get a plotter because you want to get a plotter don't don't do that because you're it's just it's just another additional well, you don't need to take on the expense if you're not number one if you don't have the cars and number two why would you why would you put enough why would you put that kind of strain on yourself because you got to pay for you got to lease the plotter and then you gotta um and then you got to pay for the software so it's like it's double whammy and if you're only doing one car a day might as well save the monthly the monthly note on both of those and just hand cut the dang thing um but yeah once you get to the point where you're you you can book more cars and you can physically cut by hand then a plotter is an option then a plotter actually just it really just pays for itself as long as you lease it you're gonna pay 100 200 some dollars a month um and then you pay monthly on the software which is if you're doing one extra car even if you just did one extra car a week of 200 bucks that's an extra 800 dollars a month uh, let's say it costs you three or four hundred dollars for the plotter you're still to the good of 400 bucks see what i'm saying so that's why that's my opinion on the plotters <laughs> mike powell in the house what's going on brother welcome welcome notice that like it didn't peak right i screamed and it didn't like peak and like blow your ears out 
So I'm trying, I'm trying because I had a video once where like I didn't understand like wavelengths and sounds and audio and I didn't understand where like clipping was. And I had like, I was, I was talking like this low, like I was so low, talking very low. And then the volume just blasted up and someone commented like, someone's comment was like RIP headphone users. <laughs> Uh, what happened to my music? I had background music. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, let's pick out an album. Oh, Christmas music. What about Christmas? We're doing Christmas music. I don't care. <sighs> Christmas music. Uh, don't be sorry, Mike. Don't be sorry. No, I know you're a busy man. Busy man. I get it. I get it. I mean, I saw you in there with Tint Wiz, so I mean, that's cool. I appreciate that you can at least save a little time for me, huh? Your boy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Eric asked, have you heard of Nextville USA? Um, I haven't heard of Nextville USA. No, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know that. Um, okay, so... Let's see here. Let me go run through some Q questions here. Opinions, if any, on that film, it's local to me in Los Angeles. Yeah, my opinion is probably not. <laughs> I, I've never heard of them. There's a problem. There's there's a handful of solid manufacturers and distributors of window film, and you kind of want to stick with the main ones, right? Because small little micro reboxers, like here's the situation with reboxers and this is and this is this is just my opinion this isn't factual and such but like let's say i want to make i can re i can make my own brand of film right i just have to buy in bulk from like let's say uh, let's say global right and i rebrand the boxes same thing with what tint world does um and i can have patrick latman window film <gasps> ah patrick latman window film come join us um so let's say I'm buying from Global, right? And my film is going well and everything's going well. And then let's say, I don't know. Um, let's say Eastman contacts me and they're like, oh, hey, you want to buy our film? It's the cheapest stuff and I could save you 40%. It's not as good as the Global stuff, but you can save 40 cents per square foot or something like that. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going to take that deal, right? Because now I'm going to get a much cheaper product and... I'm going to sell it for the same price, so I'm going to make more mar better margins. And I'm going to switch it and not even tell you guys. That shit happens a lot, bro. Shit happens a lot. Uh, I, I'm not saying that reboxers re aren't the best in the world because... Because pretty much everyone except for four people are reboxers. So I, I just... I, you have to trust people... Um, you have to trust people that are backing it. I, okay, so there's there's a guy named Harry that's uh, that's releasing a film called Veloce Films, right? It's a brand new a brand new film line that's going to be hitting the uh, the market in 2020. Really exciting stuff. Um, from and this is I don't know because I never actually had like an in depth conversation with Harry, but he was like he was a big wig at one of the major window film distributors. Big wig. I mean, he was he was up there. He was doing big, big things, right? And he like, like apparently he just he wants to be able to to offer his own uh, own film. I would trust him, right? I would trust Veloce Films because there's a backing. There's people we know. The people, the people that are working in it have been in the industry for X amount of years, and they care about quality and consistency and and, and things of that nature. That is a film I would trust. Um, but some random place that is kind of nearby you? No. You could, because you could just buy it online. The world is your oyster. Buy it online. 945. We've just been running through this. Sorry, y'all. I just keep talking. Korean no go. <laughs> Failure. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, Jess Ride said, how bad are the door panels on a 2019 Mercedes-Benz C300? Anything to look for? Um, yeah, just got it. Here's the thing. You just got, you can't be scared of it. You can't be scared of it. Um, let me pull up something here. I actually, I have a video exactly for that. So, give me one second here. Solar effects and global. See, no better than Carol. That's right, baby. Carol. That's right, baby. Where is this video? I have a panel pulling video. I don't know what I'm doing. 300. <sighs> Here it is. Oh, it's a 2015 to 17. Mm. I don't have an 18 model. I know I've done them um, and they, they should pop out just pretty much the same. Um, you really just kind of, you pull it from the top and you just rip that sucker back here. Hold on. Let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Christmas time. I love Christmas, by the way. So I'll go Christmas crazy, y'all. Come on. All right, hold on. We gotta stop this music here. another panel pulling video for you today all right here, here we go uh, guys today Hold we on. have a 2017 mercedes c300 brand new vehicle here um, so this is the uh the c300 car. i'm gonna show you how to pop this deal. i like that hair look that hairstyle <laughs> fresh <laughs> um all you have to do is pop the top you be able to go ahead and pull this so i'm gonna show you how to pop the top so here you, there is a lip here and let me see here i do here there is a lip right here next to the panel, right there. You want to be able, you want to pull behind that. So pull this back, and you're just gonna pull on this part right here. Do not grab this and pull because that's part of the weather strip. All right. So I just want to show you that real quick. And then let's go ahead and pull this panel. Panel pull in, yay! All right. So again, you're gonna go right behind that. Weather Don't be strip, afraid right here. This is what people are afraid of. Back. It's gonna feel like it's gonna break, but it's not. All right. Coming to the front. Actually, just pull back in the back corner. It makes it easier. Right here. There you go. Boom. Just like that. Just get it going from the back end. Start pulling. And it's all going to go. And there is a little clip holding it here. Um, but I don't want to pop that out just because I don't want to. Okay, so, so there is a clip right here. So you can't yank that corner out all the way. You can just pop it. And then there's enough room that you can wedge, basically wedge out the strip. So, and this is a very expensive car. So as you can see, I got this pulled in here and up front here, I got plenty of wiggle room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bone at the front end and squat, slide up in here. I'm gonna go right underneath the, the weather strip and just pop it straight up just like that. Okay, and just pull the panel back as you're pulling it out. Boom. And that way avoid trying That's to front door. damage anything here. Let's go to the back door. Same concept, you just gotta get your fingers right in there. Right behind the door panel, you pull straight back. Boom. Okay. And that's gonna pop out and let me see here if i can show you so there's three two clips right there those gray clips right there that's what's holding it in um and i don't see any more so you just gotta pull straight out you're not gonna break anything i know this is an expensive car and it's kind of intimidating when you're doing this type of stuff and it just pops twice here and that's it that's all you need to do that's all the room you need 
boom that's it right there that's what's scary though because you gotta really get your fingers in there and bah, you gotta really pull the dang thing right don't be afraid you're not gonna break it that's what i love about mercedes i was used to be a huge bmw guy until i started taking door panels apart on mercedes and mercedes are just built better I, you know, I took, I did that to a door panel on a BMW and it's like some sort of woven fiber material or something like that. And I've like ruined door panels on BMWs before. Just don't do that on door panels. Um, right but this is a little now bit tricky here, because the weather strip is a little bit difficult because the weather strip wraps around this pillar. So what I do is I pull straight up on the back end and kind of This is why I have multiple cameras it now. It, pull out that way. And then that way the whole thing comes out just like that that's it that's how you pull uh that's how you pull the weather strips and you don't have to pull the full panel obviously as you can see on um on uh the three the 300 it's the same thing i've done the 300s um i don't know if i've done a 19 recently but i've done a 300 in the last two years and they're they're the, they're the same so i hope that answered that question let's put the music back on wow sorry about that Sorry about your ears. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah. Just ride. Welcome back, bro. Yeah. Well, what's up, bro? Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Ah, uh, let's see. Brayden asked here. Would be cool to see more flat glass content if you have the, if you have the chance. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can do flat glass. There is a video I did. One video I did of me shooting um my buddy doing fly class and um and that one uh, he doesn't really he's just watching him um but yeah i i'll do a uh i'll do a content video in regards to to fly class for sure i it's something that i've been meaning to do um and i just have to i just have to do it because i know people would really enjoy it so yes that'll come i promise promise promises promises hmm i'm supposed to be going through here I'm supposed to be going through here and uh, uh, looking up questions here. I don't have my fan going, but I have my window open in my bedroom, so it's nice and cool. It's fresh, fresh to death. A lot of questions about film. I guess uh, that, that, that's like a, a real common question. Like people want to know, like what kind of films should you use and blah, 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 blah. Um, and I don't answer that question anymore. <laughs> so let me see. I'm trying to find a question here. Here's a good one. All right, so this one was uh, best way to get this off. And if you guys can see, hopefully you guys can see that. Let me try to click on it, make it better there for you. Um, so it's hard to see, but it's basically the, the second layer of the film. He pulled off the laminate layer and it's just the second layer now. And this question is best way to get this off. My best way, if you're trying to save the defrosters on this one is I would spray it with um, purple power. Purple power is my go-to by the way. I would spray it with purple power, give it five minutes, make sure you do not put it in the sun and um, and try to take a scrub to it and see if that helps remove it. Um, but if that's not the case and it's not removing, then you better get a scraper blade and a tight and a Titan tool and start scraping away that puppy because that's pretty much the only way you get that off. people got i don't see that's why i don't i i'm i have a habit sometimes of like looking and seeing how many people are on the live stream blah 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 like oh there's a dozen people that's awesome welcome back everybody make sure you subscribe to the channel <laughs> uh i'm trying i'm focusing more on it shouldn't matter how many people are watching me right I, it doesn't matter if it's if it's one, two, it doesn't matter if it's 12, 112, 1,000 people. Like, I, want, I should be able, I should be, I'm focusing on giving, you know, the same content, whether it's to two people or 200,000 people. So, um, welcome to the live, live stream. Welcome to the channel, guys. Bum, bum, bum. 
Bum, bum, bum. Here's a good question. Here's a good question right here uh, from Joshua Sweet. He says, hey guys, uh, what size rolls do you prefer to buy? I want to be as efficient as possible. Um, and it looks like Lee Barnett answered that question already. I think I think 60 inch rolls is going to be your best bet. Have them chop them down. You can either do like 36, 24, or you can do um, 40, 20s. Um, sometimes they charge you a cut fee, sometimes they don't, but if I was going to do it, I'd probably go 36, 24, some windshield, some back windows, you're going to need a 40 inch roll. Um, but that's far and few between. So that's a good answer. That's good. That's a good one. Oh, uh, whoa, right there. Big shout out to Tim Wiz, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I never really noticed like how many questions are about like window film. What do you guys think about this window film? What do you think about that window film? The old lady's in. Door's shut. It's about to get really warm in here. Derek Bobby put in a good one here. Uh, so you don't think you scored the glass, huh? Look closer under better lighting. Doing a full retint on this GT. Oh, I should probably show you guys. Dude, G on this GT, the back glass is uh, marred all over from previous tint. The customer doesn't see it, but I do. Be careful, folks. Yeah, let's look at some of these pictures. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Did he say what kind of... A Mustang. Okay. Did he say it was a Mustang? On this GT. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Some people say the glass is, is really soft. Um, I always I always do three blades out. I always keep the, the the level the angle low and I always I snap off blades like you wouldn't believe. Because I always want a fresh blade. You know, I don't want a dull blade that I have to put more pressure down on it and then, then you could end up score uh, scoring the glass like you see here. Um, you know, that's why that's why products like Glass Aid is, is really popular because it puts a protective a protective layer between the film and the glass. Um, it, it helps you see a little bit better for the edges so that you can cut the edges maybe even without a light so uh, just be careful let me see here aura 96 says what film do you use uh, my shop uses Lumar for automotive for the flat glass they use anything everything anything and everything Matico Suntech Lumar not 3M my boss has got a big thing about 3M um, get a big gripe with them, I guess. Um, pretty much everyone, but for automotive, strictly Lumar, exclusively Lumar. Uh, I think that they have really good with Lumar. They're expensive. They're probably the, the most expensive on the block. Um, but their film barely goes to shit. Uh, you know, there's things that I want to have when I use a, when I, dis, when I choose a film, like I want to make sure that the, the, like Lumar has a good reimbursement policy. I know that like if I, I don't want to name names cause I don't want to shit on anyone. Right. But like if a, a, if ABC film, I'm buying film from ABC manufacturing. Right. And then their film goes to shit in six months and they're like, and I have to do a redo on a car. They're going to give me a film credit. They're not going to pay me actually back. Right. They're going to give me a film credit. Well, I don't want, I don't want credit to more shit film. That's just going to go bad and put more work for me in six more months. Right. Um, Lumar number one, like Lumar barely go. I mean, I have seen pinnacle go bad in four years. Uh, but I also live in Florida where good film goes to die. So not, not, I mean, it doesn't matter who's making it. Film's going to go bad eventually. Right. But Lumar has the financial means to put their money where their mouth is. They'll, so they'll, I think they, they reimburse up to a hundred dollars in labor. Um, and plus they give you, uh, the full retail value of the retent. I, they're in film credit, but like, 
that's if that's like a four hundred dollar roll that you you can get, and you can flip that four hundred to make four thousand. That's a win win, right? Um, Lumar's not going anywhere. They make their own film, so I mean, well, Eastman does, but uh, it's the same thing. Um, so that's the, those are things. Are they more expensive? Could I save more money using a different film? Probably, probably. But then I I don't lose. It's I, I don't lose that in it's not insurance to me it's assurance you know what i mean i know that i'm taken care of those are my opinions though who am i right just a tenor uh eric has a good question right here would you charge more for bigger vehicles such as uh moderate lifted vehicles or even super lifted vehicles f-250s that come in and out uh in and in our 10 feet of lift yeah absolutely i would <laughs> absolutely i would here's the thing especially if you're single by yourself when you have a second tinner or you're tinting with someone else especially with those big ass trucks um it makes it a little bit easier if you have a second person if you're by yourself um and especially if you're using a plotter like hand cut is a little bit different because you just lay the film cut it and you get to go you still have to climb all over the damn thing you have to get up get down but especially if you're using a plotter like you roll the film on one side you gotta set it then you gotta get down you gotta walk around you gotta get back up on the truck and then you gotta go over here and i use these uh these benches um not work bench let me see. It's basically a folding work chair. I don't see it here. It's a two footer. It's like a two footer or like 18 inches. It's just space it's it's a it's a flat platform that, that has like legs on it it's really easy um i can't find it sorry um but uh oh hey greg gp and gnp just subscribed what up <laughs> thank you very much for subscribing brother welcome make sure to hit the bell notification that way you're notified whenever i go live appreciate it boss um but but yeah i have i have two of those benches right so basically they're like they're like three foot long and have been folding legs pulled out right so i have two of those for big trucks like that so that i don't have to like lean over the door to help shrink it but a big truck like that it just takes longer right you got to climb up on the damn thing you gotta climb down you gotta go around you gotta climb up climb down go around blah, 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 blah. um more time more effort more pay baby that's that's my opinion my opinion who am i though <laughs> For those of you guys that are interested in watching some uh, some gaming, I'm gonna be doing a uh, I'm gonna be doing I'm not doing Fortnite. I do like I do enjoy Fortnite, but I think everyone else like fucking hates Fortnite. <laughs> so uh, I just downloaded uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm really really excited about this game. I'm not gonna lie because it's very similar. I played Red Dead Red Redemption one, um, and it's very similar to GTA because it's it's made by rockstar um and i'm huge into like the western jar i love watching westerns so i think i'm gonna have a really good time if you guys want to watch me play uh, red dead redemption 2 i was gonna do this whole gaming thing like on twitch and but i'm like screw it i might as well just keep everything here screw it screw it so if you guys want to watch that you guys can do that i'm gonna be doing the story mode and i'm just gonna like part one i'm just gonna play it for until it's over <laughs> so if you guys want to watch that you can um, okay, if you guys have any questions, shoot them up. Shoot them up, baby. Let me know. Uh, we've been going for a little over an hour, which is nice. Which is nice. I'm still trying to figure out what this insert ad thing does. Let me see here. Ad inserted. It's got to be inserting an ad, like, doing the replay. So... Okay. So if you guys have any more questions, concerns, shout outs, criticisms, now is the time. I'm going to be uh, be on here for a little bit longer, see if I have any more questions um, that I can find here on the group and as well with this here. Oh, here's a good one. Let's 
see here. There's a good one. Jonathan Stewart says, who else uses Tint Whiz? The world, bro. The world. If you ain't on that yet, get on it. Yeah, if y'all ain't a part of window tending business on Facebook, uh, y'all gotta get a part of it because um, there's just a lot, there's good content, there's good people here. For the most part, like no one like shits on anyone. Um, and everyone pretty much knows to report it because then I block them. And one person, one person in, in three years of, of me running this group, maybe four years, only one, I, my block list is huge. And there's only one person that's ever been taken off the list. And ironically, that person never, like you have to like ask to, to be joined into the group. Um, and I unblocked this one person and they never asked to be re to rejoin. So it's like, what was the point? <laughs> oh yeah, but here, here's another thing too. This was what it'll look like. It'll say, you know, and it'll say my name, um, hosted a watch party. Um, this is what you'll see. Um, when I am hosting a watch party for the tent wisdom. So just so you guys know, and you guys might be curious as to say, well, you said your name was Patrick Latman. Why does it say Patrick Boyer? I'm changing my last name. So that for, for people that might be confused about that, hopefully that, uh, strains it out. Um, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, see, and look, Greg, your name's right there. Most recent subscriber. This is what I gotta double check here because JL sub sent a super chat yesterday, and that should be right there, but it's not. So I gotta double check that. You gotta double check it. We have some background music. And if I don't want the music, bam. And then it's back. It's off. It's back. Oh, and there's a sensor thing here too. I, re I forgot with this new mixer here, there's a, there's a beep. So if I want to be like, <laughs> You stupid mother <laughs> This is dumb is because I'm still censoring myself even though I'm beeping it. <laughs> uh, have you done the new Jeep 4 four-door pickup truck? Yep. It's the same thing as a four-door Wrangler. Um, the doors at least. The back is, I think it's flat. I don't know. I can't even really remember. But yes, I've done it once or twice. Not too difficult. I like to take the door panels completely off those though. So those are just my... That's my bit right there. I take them off just because I like it. They're too tight otherwise. Did I mention this thing has sound effects? Hello! Welcome to Window Tinting Business Live! What do you think about that? <laughs> Interesting. Here's one. Here's my sexy one. You ready? What's, what's going on, guys? Bend over and touch your toes. Let me show you where the wild goose goes. Y'all know that movie? Super Troopers, if you guys don't know. There's a hard tune here. I can sing. Ooh, sing along. Robot. Let me see here. Robot. Do you hear me? I was talking like a robot. <laughs> the second sound effect. You know what I should do? I should I should announce my sponsors with this one. And now for our sponsors of tonight's live stream. Coming to you from online window tinting business brings you tint wheels. 
<laughs> oh, I can play with that all night. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps blocking messages. Stop block. Okay, I gotta check out that that bot. I think if you like message too many times, it'll just like block it. But yeah. Ah, there was another one. Megaphone? It, make, it sounds like I'm talking in a megaphone. Oh. Attention, everybody. Attention. There's actually a sample around here too, so when I'm like playing around with my friends, like I can record their name, like record as they're going. Let me see. Uh, I can record as I'm going. I can record as I'm going. I can record as I'm going. I, 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 I can record as I'm going. So sometimes I record my friends and they're like, why am I hearing myself twice? Why am I hearing myself? Period. Mm. Yeah, I like the background music. All right, y'all, if we got no more questions, I'm gonna wrap her up. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. Two minutes. Uh oh, my pal is just live. Y'all don't know, I don't even know, hold on. I don't wanna put Mike up here. <laughs> Mike's my boy and I don't want him. I don't know what he said in this video and I don't want to put him up and be like, people be like, whoa. <laughs> uh, well, I've been having a blast, guys. Two minutes. They're going to wrap her up. I'll be back on tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Red Dead, if you guys want to join. Um, and then besides that, I did work, uh, I got to work on a number of different I have some projects that I'm like editing and, and running through, so I'm working on that. You might, I don't think you'll see like a, an edited video, but um, after that, um, I'll just, I'll bring my gear on Monday for the shop live stream. And then that way I can, um, when a car does come in, then we're, we're going to start doing the live streams from the shop again. So that's probably the next time you'll see me. And uh, let me think if there's anything else. I can't think of anything else. All right, guys. So uh, at this time, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. It has been fun. We've been on for a little bit over an hour and whatnot. So it hasn't been too, too bad. I appreciate everyone that's joined us this evening. Questions, shout outs, criticisms. Greg GNP, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the bell notification. Oh. Make sure to subscribe first. Hit the bell notification. Um, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap this up and I will either be back on Monday or next week, Tuesday as well. So thanks again, guys. Really appreciate it. And I will uh, see you soon. Whoa, oh.